Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another team building with Zooch episode where I take a live guest and team build for a matchup but then afterwards I go ahead and review the replay and talk about the plays and the team and how everything went down. So without further ado, we have our guest Don Miss with us here today. What's going on, brother? On everybody. Love Zooch. How's, oh, how's it going? Up? I am chilling. I'm ready to build for this game. Hopefully we can get a dub. We're on a bit of a hot streak actually for the series. It started off pretty cold but last couple ones have been dubs. So hopefully we can... Uh, Keep it going. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Let's yeah. keep it up. I know. We are playing a tough, tough match or tough opponent for the G GGBA. We're playing uh, Masco. French uh, French guy always seems to beat me. So, um, have you looked at this? <laughs> Actually, first of all, this is just standard like terror preview, right? Nothing, no crazy rules. Yeah, no crazy rules. <clears throat> pretty standard terror preview. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, he's got terror Entei, which is pretty cool. I know in load tier that thing is like god, right? But. For yeah, regular. yeah, pretty sure the Terra normal one should. Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah. Okay. So, have you um, <clears throat> have you looked at this at all? Or not really. Uh, I did like one like little quick build, but I'm I'm not really too sold on it. So I'm definitely <laughs> down to you know start from scratch if if you're down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, as I said to you before, like I'm not really <clears throat> too familiar with using the Sun team, but I mean it's pretty pretty straightforward in my opinion. I mean just looking at his team too, like. <clears throat> Like, so obviously the two big abusers are Walking Wake and Chiyu, right? And Sun. Um, like, their Water Resist and their Fire Resist are pretty much the same Pokemon with Samurott, Noivern. And then, obviously, Serena and Entei resist one of those. So, I mean, I feel like just the combination of these two guys, because those guys aren't really too bulky, too. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, can pretty much just overwhelm them. And even their Terra Captains, they're offensive. So even if they do Terra into, like, Dragon or something to resist Water Fire, like, they're still going to get chunks in Sun for sure. So I definitely think we can definitely, like, take advantage of his defensive Pokemon with our just straight offense. I mean, that's pretty much, I think, how you play Sun anyway. It's just pretty pretty offensively, right? So Yeah, definitely. My team's, like, not the bulkiest either, as you can see. So yeah. <laughs> Definitely playing small offense here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all good. I mean, that's probably honestly the way to go anyway in Gen 9 with this old Terra crap. So, I don't really blame mm. you. So, um, things that definitely stick out from their side, though, is... I mean, Valiant is probably the best Pokemon in the, in the Gen that's usually allowed. Um, mm. Unfortunately, our Poison does not resist its stabs. So... That guy's going to be a bit of a problem. We could dedicate Torn, though, to check Valiant, which I've seen a bunch. Um, they have, obviously, the best Spiker in the meta. We have, what, one Spinner, which is Torkoal, which probably wants to run Heat Rock here. So that could be a bit annoying. But, I mean, all in all, it's not, it's not too bad. I'm, I, don't, I don't really know what to, like, bench here, though, from your side. Because, like, Valiant should be special here, right? Because we have double Intimidate, right? It doesn't really make sense to be... Yeah. Physical. No so we could run something like Assault Vest Tornadus um, to try to check Valiant, maybe Slash Thunderous, or maybe Slash Noivern. I feel like Terra Fairy I could probably check these two guys. Um, oh, yeah. And then even Blood Moon is special too. Yeah, he's got a lot of special Pokemon, huh? Dang. He really does. Like the biggest physical threats with like H Rot, yeah. I guess Metagross and Entei. Yeah, yeah. Metagross and Entei. So, all right, yeah. So AV Torn obviously sticks out pretty pretty big at the start so um but we can start i mean i think we have to bring like the sun here like these three guys for sure um mm -hmm. and honestly he does have a lot of speed on you this team is pretty slow on your end so not like that slow but he does have faster guys i guess to say the least so um definitely yeah, something like chiyu scarf chiyu just sticks out i mean we can check in the sun how much flamethrower does to the resist I mean, if, if it's not AV Samurai, it probably does a shitload. So, or Fire Blast, if you right. want, like to be risky. I hate inaccurate moves, but, you know, sometimes you gotta, you gotta run them, you know? Yep, yep. Flamethrower in the sun. Yeah, so, like, it's just not a switch in. Even if it's a Salt Vest, it's gonna get two shot, man. So, oh, wait, that's Specs. Let's check Scarf. Okay, so if it's AV, it can live too. But if it's not AV, it dies to two, so. That doesn't really count. How about Noivern? Mm. Noivern probably gets folded. I'm on so <laughs> I know you didn't like using it in no, no, no. DBL. A lot of a lot of people don't like Noivern, especially Darkrai. Right? He's like the biggest Noivern hater. But yeah, even that max mm -hmm. HP gets two shot by Flamethrower in the sun. So yeah, Scarf Chi looks pretty pretty strong here. Like he just literally doesn't have a switch in. Um, 
I bet. Unless it's an AV hammer, right? Like, there's nothing else. Maybe, like, just Blood Moon tank to No way, right? It doesn't resist. Yeah, probably not. Unless it's, like, AV or something. No, yeah. it's He's got to have an Assault Vest here, so that's kind of crazy to take two Flamethrowers. So, yeah. Scar Flamethrower looks really good to just pretty much kill stuff. So, let's do Chiyu first. Pretty right simple. Bit. Scarf. How, is this, how does he revenge you? He can do Booster, Speed Valiant, I guess, and then Scarf Thunderous would be the only or two funny, things. Yeah. yeah. Maybe okay. like a Life Orb, Blood Moon Vacuum Wave or something. Oh, yeah, that too. But Chiu does have pretty solid Spadef, so. Actually, oh, wow, yeah. yeah I did not realize. Okay. Let's check how much it does, actually. That's a good, good call out. Mm, I mean, if it's Life Orb, it's like half. So, okay. yeah, that's not bad. Um, obviously, you have to be careful of rocks with this, but it's all good. Mm -hmm. um, we could speed tie Entei if you want to be max speed. If we go modest, can we outspeed Samurott? Yeah, we I'm can. Pretty sure we can, yeah. yeah. It might be worth. I'm trying to think because we, um, we did just do a lot of the calcs, and that was timid, I believe, when we were calcing. So... We might. Oh wait, no. Were we calcing with modest, or did I just change this? I don't even know. No, no, we were calcing with modest, huh? Okay, okay. Yeah. So yeah, we can go modest. So the only thing is, if it's like scarf ente, I guess it'll be faster. Um, ente yeah. was the other resist. I guess I didn't check. Okay, so ente, ente doesn't have recovery, but I guess a spadef ente or something could take two potentially. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, no. So yeah, we can go modest and just speed um, samurai like that. Oops. Yeah, I definitely like modest here. Yeah. Yeah, I don't really know what speed samurai's gonna hit. I mean, it's either gonna be like max speed or like maybe not max speed. It might it might creep like no speed, landorus or something. Haunter and right. ground doesn't really make sense to be no speed. So it could just be creeping this. So it's, it's probably not going to have much speed, but it's probably better to be safe than sorry and just make sure we outspeed it no matter what. Definitely. So it's a pretty simple flamethrower. I guess we can run Dark Pulse. I mean, we really should be clicking fire moves here, but... Um, yeah, just in case we need it. I mean, we probably should literally just run like Fire Blast Overheat. Like just to... Cause uh, yeah. I don't really see us clicking any other thing, right? Right, right. Does it get like doesn't get trick, right, or anything weird? Um, it, yeah, not really. It doesn't get trick. I've seen people run Memento before, but I just don't see the, that being clicked here, honestly. Yeah, hold on, give me one sec. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, no, but just fire moves for sure. Like makes the most sense. I mean. The only reason why you'd be clicking an inaccurate move is just if you really need to nuke something and maybe there's like not a lot of Pokemon left. But like throughout the early mid game, yeah, flamethrower should just be picking off stuff. Obviously, if the That's sun's not nice. up, you know, it's not going to be doing as much, but ideally we can get the sun up as much as possible. So we're going to need big Torkoal here. Oh, right. big Torkoal. I know. What kind of Torkoal are we thinking here? Um, we oh. could. Could run Fizz Def to try to come in on Metagross, Entei, maybe as you're switching to Entei. Serena. Yeah, that actually does look like yeah, easily the best switch in, yeah. Okay. Uh, probably don't, yeah, we don't need no speed, obviously. Uh, yeah, so this is probably just like a Rocks. What's their remover? Spinner and Defog right here. And Defog. Okay. Uh, yeah, rocks, lava plume. Could run earth press. power. Oh, Pre earth oh. power, yeah, because we're dealing with NT. Yeah, and then press is also good as the last, yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. Or we could run spin too. Yeah, spin, spin might be nice because yeah, Metagross looks like his best rock here. Yeah. Okay, let's do. Do we have any other. Oh, we have Landorus so that we bring for rocks too. So we mm. could do like Lava Plume, Body Press, Spin, and then it's either Earth Power or Rocks on this guy. How much does Body Press do to Entei's see compared to like Earth Power? It's probably similar to be honest. Let's see that. 
Okay, body print. What? Where's body press? Hmm. Mm. Three cows, nice. Yeah. Problem is, like, if we switch it in. Oh, this is already in the sun. Oh, okay, it doesn't do anything. That's banded too. Okay. Oh wow. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's just. It's, I think we could probably fit rocks on landers if we bring it, which we're probably gonna bring it. I agree. So, yeah. So yeah, we can roll with earth power. It's the last one. Oops. Uh, earth power. We're gonna be heat rock for sure here. Yep. This stuff. Oh yeah, this stuff. Yeah, it's definitely takes some pressure off. This is the rocker as well, which is nice. Right. Um. Oops. Yeah, no, that's fine. So then, wake. Wake is another Pokemon. Like I never used it, but I mean, do we want booster special attack here? Because like it can run agility, right, or something. Uh oh yeah, it could do that. It could be agility, yeah. or it could be just like booster speed, right? With like mm -hmm. just attacks. Does it get calm mind? No. It does not, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Um, we could make it specs with like booster speed. No. I don't know how much I does. I like that a lot, yeah. I like that a lot. So we would have to be... Mm, just faster than Entei, I suppose, which we'd have to be this. 30, 30. And so, let's see our special tag. Yeah, we gotta like. go like right here, huh? So I gotta want to get the calcs here, because I don't know how much this is actually going to do. Yeah, yeah. Choice. Is it worth uh, bumping the speed up so we can get the special attack up too, or? You could do that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even think of that, actually. Let's look at the calcs with this and see if we need more. Okay, bet. Um, what is this guy running? Hydro Steam? Hydro Steam, Flamethrower... Draco. Yeah, Draco looks good. Mm, flip turn? I, I don't like flip turn on a strong hitter because I just feel like it should attack more. I think it's not. Yeah, I agree. And only so many sun turns as well. Yeah. Maybe. Mm. Probably just another either like a harder hitting fire move or a harder hitting water move. Yeah. Um, or spec, so. Maybe a harder hitting water move just in case there's no um No sun, yeah. Yeah. I actually lost because of that week one. It was, it was like a Terra Nam, it was a Terra Fire Nam and I lost my son and I like Hydra's team did like fifty to it. Yeah. You know? oh. Yeah, so that's a good idea. That sucks, yeah. Alright, so let's check the so we're gonna be clicking water moves with this guy. Let's check Samurai first. In the sun. Okay, so it's max HP should still die to two. So again, this has to be a soul vest to take two. What else is this water, Serena? I like this a lot because, I mean, Samurai's being pressured a lot here as the water and fire resist. Yeah, I suppose Serena can come in and take two Hydro Steams um, and it can synth up. So maybe if, hmm. Yeah, maybe if you Hydro Stream and it does, Serena does come as a switch in. I mean, honestly, that that might be a play where, like, I think you can you can switch to Chiu. Uh, mm, yeah, you can switch to Chiu probably, and then just start threatening with Flamethrower as it recovers. And then if it U-turns or just does something else, then it's not a switch in next time to um, Wake. Definitely or you can, too. I mean, if you don't want to risk, like, Chiu getting knocked off or something, you could, you could pivot also something just, like, Torn, I'm sure, so... Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I don't even know if Serena's gonna come. So versus a ramp, versus a torn and a fire core, you know, that makes sense. But right. It could. And then Noivern is probably gonna be able to take two, if I had to guess. Yeah. If it's if it's bulky, it can take two, but barely. Yeah. So, but obviously, oop, did I just hit my mic? Ooh. Okay. Um. Obviously, it's got a fear Draco, so be an interesting switch in <laughs> right so and that's really it so yeah like i'm saying just the combination of just hydro steam flamethrower is 
really hard for him. So it's going to be all about controlling the, the sun, though. If your charcoal dies early, then it's definitely going to be a lot harder for you. Um, yeah, yeah. Got to play that well. Yeah. I was going to say, maybe we can fit Sunny Day on another mod, too, just in case. But I don't know if anything else gets it. Does Torn get it? I mean, it's a weather thing. Good, it could. Let's see. It surely does, right? Please. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, it does. Um, I was thinking AV though for Torn, so maybe that wouldn't work anyway. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah, that's true. Does Landers get to get it? Does like, oh, okay. everything get Sunny Day? The heck? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be curious to see if Ursulina gets it. That'd be funny. Okay, if Ursulina gets it, then literally everything gets it. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh, oh wow, what it, the fuck? It does, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so maybe everything does, huh? Um, oh. All right, yeah, so we definitely need Torn. Let's get Torn on here. The Tornadus. Sir. And I didn't even think about their Terra typing. So if Thunderous is the Terra, what is he going to Terra to? Ice, probably. It's pretty likely. Ice or water? Maybe water. Oh, yeah, water, yeah. Water the resistance. Yeah, and you do have to be careful of Prankster Rain Dance Thunderous. Oh, shit. I can see that. Definitely that countering rhetorical. Yeah. So, um, yeah, let's. Wait, I mean, if it's Terra Water, let me do more with. I mean, if it's Rain Dance, though, too, like, it's good for our hurricanes, but. Eh. Um, right, right. Does make himself weaker to flying. So, yeah, we do need to, we do need to pick a Terra. It's probably you're saying fairy right earlier. Fairy makes a lot of sense that we are weak to bullet punch if we do that. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean we have Torkoal for Metagross. Could do poison. There was just both of Valiant stabs. I don't know. Is Valiant gonna have a a psychic move here? Shouldn't. Why not? Yeah. It shouldn't Green. unless it predicts like heart predicts poisoned torn. Right. Just poison. Yeah, it, I I see no reason for there to be poison. Yeah. Yeah. Poison's good for Serena too. It's good for T spikes. I mean, if they for there to have for them to have psychic coverage. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah, no, I got you. Um, does make us weak to blood, moon, ground hitting, I suppose, but we're not weak to bullet punch. Yeah, it's between poison and fairy. Um. Because yeah, we're more yeah. like an assault vest variant, like a defensive, it's probably better to be poison actually. Fairy looks a lot better like offensively into their guys, but mm. if we're gonna use more defensively, it's probably poison here. If I had to guess. I definitely see that, yeah. Okay, that's a poison. So we're gonna be poison. Is yeah, a booster valiant or something even like a scarf could be a really <laughs> problem really big problem right now. <clears throat> yeah. So. Um let's see, we could just rock. Hurricane, heat wave. Does hurricane hit everything else? Pretty much heat wave. We can do Terra Blast if we don't want to miss versus Valiant. Okay. If you want, I mean, it's just and then it's just between like knock, U turn, all that crap. Yeah. Mm. I definitely. Hmm. Icy wind's not really useful here. Grass knock could be a thing for Blood Moon. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's check how much it does. Grass not versus blood. I mean, we can run focus blast too if this doesn't do a lot. Oh no, it does do a lot. Ooh. That's really nice damage, and there is barely any uh, investment either. Yeah. Okay, so maybe we do want grass not then. Yeah. Do we? Maybe we don't uh, need hurricane. Like maybe we uh, can just go like. Right. Terror yeah. Blast here for terror poison heat wave grass not. Grass not hits Samurai, but I don't think it's that strong, right? Yeah, let's see how much is the... Oh, 80 is not bad. And two codes not... Well, I know that's offensive spread, but still, we get U-turn on that as well. Yeah. yeah. Terra Blast for this guy. Terra Blast. So, yeah, it's really just like, I guess, Noivern we wouldn't do a ton to. And I guess Arbok. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Arbok and Drift Blim. So, but we can, yeah, we can just fit U-turn as the last slot, probably. Yeah. Okay. Um. Now, do we want? Uh, we, I think we need speed for Valiant, no? Yeah, that yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So we would be pretty much like max speed, max HP. Yeah, yeah like that for sure. 
I think 40 was actually the investment in the calc too, right? 44. Yeah, it was about close. Oh yeah, we went to 48 because of regen numbers, whatever. Right, right. Okay, so this is a pretty quick like build here, but it's pretty straightforward. I mean, yeah, my team's very straightforward. Right, so. yeah. I think maybe, <laughs> maybe these last two slots might be a bit more. So we have, I mean, in my opinion, yeah. it's really between these three, the last two. Yeah, I definitely agree. Um, well, actually, I think we need Landorus, so it's because we need rocks. Oh, yeah, the rocks, yeah. Um, probably need it to help with... Um, so Thunderous can't just like Voltwood turn. I mean, I guess we could run our Saluna too as the ground, but um, I like I like just rocks on the uh, on Landorus too. Um, I'm trying to think what kind of Landorus. Do we want special or physical? Special actually makes a little bit of sense here. I so like it can that. Be like yeah. Earth Power does more. Sludge Wave can hit the Serena if it wants to spin. Mm -hmm. You know. Probably Oko's Valiant. Yeah, maybe. So lots of Valiant. Yeah, we could. I mean, we could also run like a physical like rock move or something if we want to hit Thunderous slash Noivern. Mm. You know, does Noivern get intimidate? I'm like brain farting right now. I no. don't think it does. Okay. I don't Maybe know for some check. reason. Yeah, for some reason I thought no. I thought it might have, but no. So yeah, I mean, just it bro is intimidating. Yeah. Scary. I know. <laughs> Earth Power Sludge, and then yeah, we could do either Stone Edge last slot or just U Turn. Yeah. Taunt could not be good for anything. Not really, no. Yeah, no. Could also be Scorching Sands instead if you want so Earth Ooh. Power. Honestly, mm. looks pretty solid. Like I don't think Earth Power is getting like any Okos here, anyways. Let's check my gross. Oh, yeah. Let's see what medic is. There's special on this. So many sets, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, it's just like 20 sets right there. I know. No, not quite. Max HP. Yeah, Scorching is still two shots, so. Could be good just to get a burn. Um, the, yeah, he does have three flyers though, so we probably do need Stone Edge just so we're not yeah, yeah. completely walled, you know. And yeah, that does look like it hits everything. Those three. Let's check Scorching. I mean, just getting a burn on something like Serena or Metagross could be huge too. Right. Or even like yes, yeah, Serena's gonna like spin on us. Yeah. yeah. Um, Stone Edge. So what are we switching landers into here? What do we need it for? Mm, looks like we don't mm. we don't know the if thunderous is like terra water or ice or something, then we can't switch that in for that guy. Right. Mm. Um. We could switch it into. And this might sound weird, but like Samra, for example. Cause on the sun, yeah, yeah, I feel and, that. and even if the sun's not up to like, it's, he might not just click a water move. I click obviously the ceaseless, you know. So, right, um, we can intimidate and we can be speedy if we want to be faster. I mean, obviously we're not gonna kill him with anything. We would need a fighting move. That's fine though. Like chipping samurai is great for Chi and Wake. Like that just true. opens them up so much. That's true. Let's be let's be helmet too. We can use this as a switch like in so we can get some chip, yeah. I like that. Um, do you want to make sure you're faster than Samurai is the thing? Or do you want to just be um, very defensive? It's up to you. Let's see. I'm thinking we go defensive because there's not like much else the speed's doing here, honestly. We're doing outspeed Ente. Probably yeah. be fast. I don't know, like maybe Metagross could creep a defensive, but we just run a bit of speed for that. Yeah, that's for like 16. That's fine, yeah, I like that. Yeah. Something like this. Um, yeah. We do have to lower our defenses, probably, unless we want Stone Edge to be weakened. Okay. But I mean, if we yeah. we we can use this as a switch into literally just the physical mons, you know. Yeah. Like he's probably gonna have at least two of the, these three, I would imagine. Right. So that's fine if we lower our sword up. I think. Mm hmm. I'm. We probably still like take a moonblast, like a life orb moonblast from Valiant, pretty decently yeah. as well. 
Uh, well, I wouldn't say decently, <laughs> but we'll, we'll take at <laughs> least yeah, one. Def I it's definitely a two go, but yeah. yeah. Let's see. Valiant specs. I mean, that's specs, so life orb doesn't do as much. Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait, that's so, yeah. 56. But yeah, we still live one. Okay, yeah, we live one, so. Sludge wave. How much nice. are we doing back? The Yeah. That's max special attack. <laughs> Good chunk, good chunk. Oh, that's a good chunk, yeah. yeah. I like that. Alright, cool. So we have... Last slot is really up in the bag here. Um, mm. We could run... Hmm, let me think. Crown, what's their steel resist? Samurai, Metagross, Thunderous, Ente. Yeah, it's tough. Like, it's only really good here with the Terra, but... Yeah, Metagross kind of actually is, just stops Crown, man. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah, we can definitely That's... run Luna. Cool. Who's there? I mean... Yeah, there's only one, two normal resists. I mean, how would, like, like a sort of pivoting Crown, like, Volt Switch? Nah, eh, actually, I don't know. I'm not mm -hmm. feeling that, actually. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, I mean it could work. It could definitely take. It could definitely be like another thing that can take a, um, like a valiant hit or something. Mm -hmm. It's just I don't really know what, what item it would be. Mm. Yeah, yeah. No. It's just the thing is like with Luna. Luna can't set trick room right for itself. Oh, that would be sick, can it? Control breaks. I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Like Luna is kind of awkward here, but I add strong force gonna get some kills. I mean, I could honestly see like a maybe like a trailblazing Luna, just like kind of catching him off guard. Like obviously we would need two to outspeed their guys, mm -hmm. mm, but like literally. Cause like we only need what three attacks, right? Facade, earthquake, and ice punch for Noivern slash. Oh, we don't even need ice punch, honestly. Or yeah. what? I mean, it would just be probably to make dies, sure. Right? It would just speed up like for Driftblim too, right? Cause it's. Oh right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Smart. I want to just see how much we do to everything. Just curious. <sighs> because obviously. We... We could just make it pretty bulky and run like no speed, or we could try to go for the trailblaze. Crap. Okay. Because so obviously Valiant's gonna die. Samrat's gonna die, right? Samrat does I'm get priority. Um, uh, what actually might even live? Like Serena? Barely, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's Driftlin. Driftlin could be annoying, I guess, with like fucking strength sap and all that shit. Yeah, and it would be faster than us. Mm. Well, I guess after a trailblazer, it wouldn't. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. We could run like. Is there any intimidate? Oh, I guess Arbuck. You could run like. Like SD and then clear it. No, because then we're not playing more. Mm. This is interesting. This is hard because, like, the only we only have one pivot, which is this guy to get into Luna. You know, so we kind of have right. to like yeah. throw in Luna awkwardly. Taking hits, yeah. I found like I don't like you don't have to invest that much attack. Honestly, you can no. like get a lot of Vocos with the facade, yeah. Yeah. so maybe that can help. Yeah, I definitely see, think. I guess. I definitely think we run like Max Videf, uh yeah. this game into their team. Um, For sure. I'm just trying to think, do we just want just like a basic Flame Orb attack set? I don't think the Trailblaze is going to work. I don't, I think it's, okay. this is too much, but we can yeah. keep this. There's nothing to like do more to Drift Blim really. I saw you thinking about the baby that all eyes there. <laughs> yeah, cause it's just like priority, so like I'm, it can yeah. come in handy, you know. I'm like, down. I'm down. I'm trying to think. You would, 
The thing is, you can't do it versus Metagross. Yeah, right, yeah. Dante probably just kills us. Yeah, it's probably yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. thought it was funny. Yeah. Bulk up. We, I mean, we oh, could, cool. Yeah, we could do, like, bulk up with clear amulet, so we don't get the guts, but... Um... We can't. We can't just get like wall that drift them, and if we bulk up, then I, and like obviously we're gonna be to death. Body slam is still oh, gonna do a lot yeah. at plus, you know, plus one. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I like that because. Yeah. I think. Strength set and wisp. Yeah, yeah. We we could keep guts if you're. I, I really don't see why they would wisp. A, a, a Luna, right? But yeah, we yeah. could keep guts if you want to be safe. Um, obviously these, just Bulletproof come into handy here? Um. Not really. I guess, you yeah, know. Unnerved could come into handy though, maybe. This could Unnerved, does it, um, does it like, give it, give you like a message when it sends out? Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, okay. Unfortunately. Um. So, I mean, we could keep Guts just to be... Just to be safe, and maybe they maybe they run Toxic Spike or something, because our poisons are pretty... Yeah. I mean, we do have Suspect. our poison torn, but yeah. Um, or maybe they... Can they pair us at all? Not really. The Body Slam user? No. Um, Not really. Yeah, no. I just like T-Wave. Oh, well, right. It's Luna, so... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is just the thing that's like a little bit. Do they have screens potential? Uh, Metagross potential screens, I guess. Yeah, that'd be weird. Huh. Yeah. So if you're on bulk, let's check. Let's check the calc. Cause I'm just kind of sitting here. Let's say we're like. I like bulk up. Yeah. That's, yeah, me that's too. a nice idea. I'm just gonna give. Like a maybe I'm able to live a valiant CC like after killing something. Right. Um, we'd be clear am. Literally just for strength sap on triple. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Okay, so plus one. Oh wait, I need body stuff. So. Okay. So let's check Iron Rally at first. Yeah, I think potentially lives. We could always do a headlong, I guess, if we want the kill. We could do that, yeah. Um, I would obviously kind of cancel our book up, but yeah, that's, headlong. Yeah, that's true. Samurott. Yeah, it does seem like headlong is probably better, though, looking at all these rolls here. Yeah, big blood moon's gonna be able to live. Oh, I just realized that there's pretty close speed wise, huh? Okay. Yeah. A little creep. Probably should, yeah. Hmm. I'm. Yeah, let's, get, let's put a little bit of speed. 140. Uh, let's see, let's probably go to like 143 or something, in case they try to put a little. Go to 143. Okay. Because being faster could not be a big deal versus that guy. Right. Um. I don't know, part part of me just feels like like setting up with Luna like might not like work. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of offensive stuff. I can see that. Like, I mean obviously I said Torn is only Torn is the only like pivot. But probably when we do U turn, like if Sun is not up, like Luna would be like probably the ideal thing to go into to get that and just try, try to 
No, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I think I think what we could do is we can just be like, like you know, like the normal like flame orb or whatever. But if so, if Drift Bloom comes, I think as this last slot we're gonna be Swords Dance, right? Okay. So if Drift Bloom does sense. come to the game, it's clearly the the Luna check. So we would just Swords Dance. So even if it is Strength Sap, you know, like we would still be able to boost it and blow back, you know. Right, right. And, and I if, like that. Yeah, and if Drift Bloom is not there, then I mean you can just click Facade. You don't have to, you know, you don't have to boost or anything. So. Yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So, did we check out plus one for burned? How much does Ice Punch do to Drift Bloom? It's close to killing. If it's, I mean, it's a roll 50, literally, if it's max HP. So, yeah, they can't do anything. So, I think that's better, actually. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, again, More it's ideal. Them. Yeah, it's ideal to just attack, but if Drift Bloom is there, you have to boost. Um,. And then again, in this case, I think we want headlong because oh yeah, yeah. we're just going Definitely for the power now, yeah. here. Yeah, we don't really care. So I think that's okay. That's good. Mm -hmm. So I mean, you could throw this in versus something. I mean, it's it's pretty bulky. So I mean, it could still take a hit from like you could just throw it in versus like Noivern or Thunderous if it's not. Well, Thunderous might do it too much with like Grass Knot actually. Right. Let me see. Or Focus Blast, I guess. Grass Knot's also the same, right? Yeah. Yeah, grass knot. I mean, if you get it on like an electric move switch in, then you can obviously take one. Yeah, like maybe before torn is teared or something. Yeah, right, right, right. Um, you could do that. I mean, versus valiant, obviously, you can just fighting move you. So, but it can take obviously the non fighting moves with ease. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I mean, you could probably throw it in versus end day two if it's not banded, right? Banded barely two shots you non banded you tank so mm -hmm. um yeah i mean i think this is fine even like versus how much does blood moon do to you i'm curious actually mm, well he can't blood moon twice right oh yeah so blood moon it's a voice and yeah. it doesn't look like it or i guess there's a very small chance it kills yeah. i guess right 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 so yeah you can definitely just throw this in versus a couple things if you have to but obviously it's ideal to you turn into it because then you get your orb off. Right. <clears throat> the first, obviously the first attack when the orb would suck, but it can happen. So I think this is fine. Like, <clears throat> I know it's a pretty it quick, like pretty straightforward, but like your, your offense just. Is this how it is. Yeah. It just, yeah. <laughs> it just doesn't really do anything. Obviously again, preserving this thing is important. And then I think if you had to like get a, have a choice of getting one of these two guys in early, you probably go Chiyu. I think Chiyu is a bit harder for him, and it just hits a bit stronger in the sun than Wake. I agree. But Wake still obviously does a lot. Plus, with the speed boost in the sun, too, he has to have Scarf, Valiant, or Thunderous. So. Yeah, and but, his best Chiyu switchings are Wake switching, so yeah. weaken that. Right, right, right. Open up Wake. It would have been cool to have like another like sunny day. Kind of like to catch him off guard because I do think it's possible that he does have the prankster rain dance on Thunderous. Okay, it's a, it's a pretty good counter. Is there anything it could? I guess not really. Mm. Yeah, we need all the moves on Lando. That would be like the thing to do it with. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Maybe like Chiu if it's about to die or something. Yeah, but I mean, but the thing is, even if it is like the prankster rain dance, you could still go wake and then just fire off. Oh yeah, big pump. Like or yeah, yeah, literally, and you can't switch into that. So that's it's clean. That's yeah. still not bad too. So, um, we could put like you said, put more if you want. I forget that. Did we even like calc how much? Um, uh, yeah, but this is it for the Ente speed right now, right? Yeah, but I'm saying we could do more speed for more power if we need. Oh, yeah, definitely. I like that. We probably might as well because, like, this is going to be a quick game. Yeah. So, like, we can literally just put as much as possible if we want. Very right, cool. Like that. Cool. Yeah, I think that's fine. Um, I like that, yeah. Lead, I think it's either Torkoal or Tornadus versus their team. It's one of the two. Um, right. Torn would be just to get the switch into Valiant like immediately. Yeah. Um, you do show, I mean, it's the only Terra Captain coming anyway, but you do show that you're going to Terra, so. 
But... I do like the... Yeah, I like Torn a lot, because if he leads Blood Moon on my Torkoal, it, it looks pretty bad. Like, just leading some that, I don't know, force it out maybe with Grass Knot or... Yeah. Yeah, and then you're, even if you lead... Yeah, so you probably wouldn't Terra versus Blood Moon. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you do want to Terra, obviously, ideally, as quick as possible, so... Right. Um... Yeah, then you could just throw in Torkoal to get the sun up just versus... I mean, you could even do it versus Samurott if you want. Like, in the, in the sun, like, how much is his water move going to do? Let's see. It's probably going to go for a dark move anyway, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does, like, nothing in the sun, so... Um, or, again, you can just go Landers if you want your rocks up and get some chip, too. Either one. But, like I said, I think getting the sun up as much as possible is how you're gonna win this game so definitely yeah but all right i think that's fine i mean the only thing i could kind of see going wrong here is like a a valiant booster just like cleaning if because i know you have two things that are faster if it's not booster speed i mean you have three things actually but mm -hmm. if it is the booster speed and torn somehow can't take a hit then it can kind of just clean or be very scary is it, you think it's worth eving if this is even possible, is it worth EVing like Ursaluna to maybe live a CC or? Let's see. Uh, Iron Valiant. Again, it should really be special here, but we'll check physical. So it actually already does. Oh, you know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. There you go. I, I'm. I would be surprised though if it's physical. Right. And then the Aura Sphere would definitely take. Yeah. And if he wants to be Focus Blast, then... Focus Blast might do a lot, but it shouldn't die. Yeah, it shouldn't die. Um, okay. Booster Speed, Calm Mind could be an issue. How much... Let's check Torn. Just Torn. Oh, yeah, Calm Mind, yeah. Just impede the pace. If, I just want to see if he does have Psy Shock, just... Because it does obviously hit on the physical side. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is Psy Shock. Yeah, 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 I know he's going to have Psy Shock. I just don't know if he's going to bring it, because like, he, oh, he, right. he like, you right. know, expects it. Yeah, so booster speed, calm mind with stab, psy shock would be like the perfect set to kind of just roll through us here. Um, mm -hmm. So it would be those three attacks plus calm mind. Yeah, so that is like. Uh, can we do? Can we do anything? Would it be that set? Stab, Psy Shock, Calm Mind. I mean, he could. He really could. I mean, he's kind of. I guess Crown. He wouldn't do well, enough he would to need, crown. Yeah, he needs some for crown in that case, I what? guess. Like a fight. Class. Yeah, like a fighting move would be neutral, so it's not the worst. Yeah. Um. I don't try to think if there's anything we can. The only way we would be able to like do something is the thing is it's not strong enough. I don't know. Is if we would be like booster speed scarf mm -hmm. to make sure we're faster than the booster speed. Um, to make sure we're faster than the booster speed valiant. Mm. But okay, we looked at that calcs. Like I don't know. It, it was tough for him to like. Yeah, the resist, of course, but I think for everything new, like Valiant definitely saw Oko in the yeah. sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, like we said, like the resists don't don't take him well. It, it would just be that noise from breaking. We have Draco. Yeah. So, I mean, that is an option if you want to have something for sure faster than everything, because there's no way something cannot speed booster speed Scarf. Um, we would just lose a lot of a lot of power, but I mean, I guess Chiyu is the does more. Like you can consider, even though it's Scarf as well. Like it two yeah, shots everything. No it's matter so what. strong, yeah. Yeah, and then Luna too. So you could use that SP control if you want. Um, yeah, let's do it. I like safe. that idea. 
because that yeah, the medallion's looking really scary. Okay. So yeah. And then even if even if there's no sun up, I guess we're still faster than everything that's not scarfed or booster, and we can still just pump. Right. Right. So it's not the end of the world. I think this is okay. Then I think this is fine. Yeah, this should be good. Torn lead seems pretty good. I mean, if they lead Valiant, that's really good because then we know if it's boosted or not. I'm trying to think, what do we switch out versus if they lead, if we lead Torn? Uh, Pro probably. What do we switch out with? Yeah, probably Thunderous. Like, just hearts. Yeah, yeah, I like that. P wave oh, seems pretty that. well good here. I, I knocked oh, my good. headset out. <laughs> oh shit! That's, that's like the <laughs> second time I did it. Um, Ugh. yeah. So like I said, I don't know what you said. I said thunderous for like T wave. Yeah, I could definitely see that as well. <sighs> um, um, what could we do? I mean, we could just maybe like a banded Metagross as well. I'd switch out on. Dude, honestly, versus if they lead thunderous though, we could probably just go hard or Saluna, right? Because they're not clicking yeah. a fighting move or a grass move versus Torn. Right. So right. That, that would be a play. We'd just go hard loon, I think, right away. I uh, like that. And if we if they U-turn, there's no, there's no like one hit that kills us, I think, on Luna. Yeah, maybe trade. maybe Valiant. If they bring in Valiant, we'd be scared of that right. guy. But then we could just go back to Torn. So. Um, yeah, yeah. So versus Dundee, we would switch versus Metagross. I don't know if we would switch versus Metagross. I mean, if anything, we can just U-turn if you want. Mm -hmm. If you're scared of like just dying to one hit, but don't. It wouldn't. Scarf wouldn't kill us in one. I don't think, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I mean, if we Terra, actually, <laughs> <laughs> if we Terra, it does actually kill us. So we would probably have to not. How much is a heavy slam? Oh yeah, okay. Does a lot. I mean, it would reveal like their scarf though, so I would probably just U-turn, yeah, and just not um, not tower. I'd probably just U-turn into um, Torkoal, no? Torkoal, yeah, for yeah. sure. Get the spin off if they rock, so then just or just plume or something if they don't, you know, get the sun up. Yeah. So versus Metagross, we would turn Thunder, would Heart Switch. Samurai, mm. you just. Samurai. Mm -hmm. I mean, Samurai, you can just attack U turn. It. Yeah, I think you can just attack yeah. it, no? Yeah, you're right. Uh, unless we die. Grass not. Yeah. Yeah, it shouldn't, shouldn't, right? Yeah, even banded. We should live. Yeah, Grass not. Oh, yeah, that's good damage on our end, too. And then you turn into Lando, rocks. Yeah, you do gotta be careful. If they do Ceaseless and then we're in Sucker Punch range, you don't wanna U turn. You wanna just switch All right. on, the, on, the, yeah. on the second turn. But yeah, right. damage on the resist is key, so that'd be really good. Right. Um, all right, so Valiant, I think we would just Terra, 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 Terra Blast. Wait, we have Sludge. I don't know why we're Terra Blast. We should be Sludge Wave. Oh, right. I completely forgot about that too. Yeah, yeah. Jesus. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Samurai, we would Grass Knot. Luna, we can not Terra and Grass Knot. Metagross, I think we just U turn, non Terra. Thundee, we go Blood. Serena, you mm. just Terra and just attack. Right. Noivern. Noivern can't do anything to us. We're AV, so I think we just yeah. U-turn. Right? Yeah, yeah. Terra, we could, what about Terra and Sludge Wave? Would that be good? We could. Let me see how much it does. Does a two-shot. Uh, sludge. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Mm, not quite. I mean, we could still just attack, though, like, and then just U-turn the following turn, because, again, it doesn't... We're not under any threat. It could switch yeah. over, right? That could be actually weird, but... Uh, yeah, that could be really annoying. I think we just... I think you just attack it, though, and then you turn yeah. over. I like that. Um, Bandit, Entei... Could be problematic, because it could probably Terra, too, to something... Depends. Yeah. If it's Terra Fire, I don't think you stay in. Stone Edge does seem like a free click as well. Yeah, how much does that do a trouble? E. Jeez, bruh. 
Yeah. I guess Ente, and it's better. But... We probably have to go Landorus, yeah, on Ente. Yeah. Arbok, I mean... <laughs> I guess you just U-turn, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Terra Poison, so we can clear T-Spikes. That's probably what it would be, yeah. I and mean, it would probably Glare, so I mean... I mean, versus Arbok, I think you just go into Luna, though. Like, can't do anything yeah. to Luna. Uh, Drifblim... I think you probably, you honestly, you probably you. just U-turn into Chi, bro, and just fucking attack it. <laughs> that, yeah, that'd be best case scenario. Probably. Yeah. So yeah, but the only thing we literally hard switch out on is Thunderous and potentially Terra Fire. Well, if Terra, let me, does Terra Fire Choice Scarf kill us? Because then we get a U-turn. Mm -hmm. mm, that's Bandit, though. Bandit. So. <laughs> Oh, it's banned already. Yeah. I mean, it's... You see their yeah. tower right away, so... You probably can you turn You take a lot of damage on Torn, and you do have to regen that back. Right. So... It's probably better just to go Landorus, honestly, on Entei. And then just get your rocks up. So... Versus... Versus... I mean... But you don't die. Do you think they would switch out versus Entei and Torn? They'd probably feel like a knockoff or something. Excuse me. Mm. Honestly, you probably just U-turn. You just probably U-turn. Because you're going to be able to regen. So. I think that's okay. Oh. I don't know. I, I can't hear you. I don't know if you're talking. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. Just to make sure. All right. Um. Mm -hmm. But yeah, no. So yeah, I think you literally stay in versus everything with versus thunder. And thunder, you just pivot Luna like immediately. So mm -hmm. I think yes, that's, that's good, bro. I think A great lead here for sure. Yeah. Hopefully. When are you when are you playing? By the way, I'm playing uh like tomorrow like 5 p.m. EST. So like okay, I'll probably two be, your time. Yeah, I'll probably be around and watch it. So cool, um, cool. Sounds good. So. I think we're good. That's going to do it for the team building. I'll see you guys in the battle. Peace. All right, guys. We're here for the battle for Dawn Mist versus Mascow. One last look at the paste. Uh, basically, Sun team just to get up to Sun and then click buttons with Chiyu and Walking Wake. Their team really just does not switch into these guys. And then we have Torn and Lando as pretty much pivot. So we see the 60 brought pretty much what we expected. Nothing too crazy there. And we can see that his Terra typings are... Uh, Entei is normal, looks like, and Thunderous is ice for Landorus, which makes a bunch of sense. So, we lead Assault Vest Torn, this is really good for us. We can just fire off a Grass Knot to get some chip, no problem. That actually shows me pretty bulky because it doesn't even do half. And then Blood Moon does barely over half. So, we can just U-turn out here because the Blood Moon cannot kill us with another move. Um, we choose to Grass Knot. So, this is kind of the whole thing with like when to U-turn and when not to U-turn. I think you turning is more than fine here, just because um, if you're if you're thinking from his side, like he can't blood moon again, so there's no click that he can do to kill us, and our grass knot doesn't even two shot them anyway, so it makes a lot of sense for them to switch out here. So I think if you U turn, you get your regen, they bring an Ente, you can bang, you can bring in your son right away and get to click in away, or you can even go something like Ursa Luna and just click a facade because you'll get burned, and there's Metagross will take a lot from facade, so. But we choose to grass on again, so now we have to U-turn or just hard switch. Hard switching is actually better because we don't know if this thing is scarfed yet. So we go Torkoal. And okay, that does a lot of damage. Uh, Stone Edge was a nice play because it does hit the Torn and it does catch the Torkoal coming in. Um, but we get our sun up, so now we have to pretty much double out into something. Um, I think you double into Walking Wake here just because if they go for another Stone Edge or yeah, go Walking Wake. Oh, we went Luna. Okay. Luna is still not bad, but it's unfortunate that they're on a balloon. I like the Walking Wake double there just because, um, one, they're just going to go for a fire move in the sun, or they're going to go for another Stone Edge, which is not going to do too much to Walking Wake. And then we're in versus Entei. We can just click a free water move. Their only resist will probably take over half or almost half the Samurai. So I think Walking Wake was a bit of a better double there. Or so Luna is okay, too. Just unfortunate that uh, Metagross is on a balloon, but it's all good. So we have to facade here to break the balloon. And then we can proceed to kill it on the next turn. They do get up the rocks, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's all good. Oh, they actually explode. So they get up rocks. 
and pretty much kill our Luna. We can save this though for a sec and maybe pivot Landers. As we do, nice to get some chip on this guy because this is the main character, main character, main Pokemon that we need chip on for Chiyu and Walking Wake. And we can get our rocks up here now, so very nice. Dundee comes in, um, does plot, so I'm assuming we go for Stone Edge, we do. It does a lot of damage, nice. Um, ooh, there's Salic Berry though, so... It does outspeed everything now, unless Walking Week is in the sun, and of course the sun is running out. So that is really unfortunate, good good set by them. We're going to have to pretty much sack Luna and probably Torkoal to get the sun up, right? Yeah. Dang, okay. So we're going to be limited on sun turns, we're going to have, what... Seven more after this, which is fine. So we have to bring out Wake here, all good. And we can just click uh, Hydro Steam. Um, they're probably gonna psych this though because it dies to rocks, yeah. All right, so four versus four, definitely still winnable. In comes Samurott here. If I'm him, I definitely, oop. I'm Samurott. I mean, I probably just pivot back to Lando, right? Get some more chip. And then we could just fire off uh, Scorching Sands. There's no more. Scorching Sands resist, so it's all good. Yep, Valiant comes in. It's gonna do a good chunk. Dang, if we were physical, if we were just physical Valiant, that would have done so much more. It's crazy, but all good. Get some chip. We die to Moonblast, so it could definitely be Choice Scarfed. Um, Torn here is good. So you could, he could have either gone Torn or Walking Wake here, obviously, because we're faster in the sun. And it could have just fired off a Hydro Steam. I'm not sure if it would have just KO'd the Samurott. But if you go Torn here, I think you always have to U-turn here because... I mean, if they're not Scarf, we're faster and we just KO it. And then if they are Scarf, they're switching anyway. So hopefully we tear a U-turn. Oh, that would be so much damage to Samurott too. Please. No. Sludge wave. Okay, but we can U turn here and get some chip and get some more regen. Okay, we kill it. So I think this is a little bit of a misplay here. Maybe, maybe just to be safe, he wanted to attack here. But on the following turn, you definitely U turn for a couple of reasons. So there's two turns of sun left, right? U turn kills this guy and we get regen, which is obviously nice. And then you can pivot into Walking Wake with one turn of Sun left, right? And with this dead, Walking Wake just claims another kill with Hydro Steam. Nothing lives the Hydro Steam, right? So they don't have a play. They have to sack something. Then it's three versus two. And I think with the combination of Chiyu plus Assault Vest Tornadus plus Walking Wake, we win the game here. So we don't do that. We U-turn now, but now we got a sack. So see how we're down three to two now instead of up three to two potentially? yeah so i mean we have to go torn here to kill the blood moon we we can also go we can go walking wake but the problem is if we go walking wake to kill this then well actually hmm walking wake might actually have been better here let me see if we go walking wake kill this they have to go valiant to revenge the walking wake but it's kind of like a 50 50 right because they have to either Moonblast to kill us or predict the Torn coming in and click Psy Shock. So it becomes a 50-50. So I actually would have went Walking Wake to kill this because because we went Torn, it's kind of not a 50-50 no more, right? Like they can just go Entei and double E speed us and then Valiant kills Walking Wake. So yeah, they E speed. Yeah. So ah, a little bit of a misplays for Don towards the end of the game, which is unfortunate. He played the beginning and he pretty much played the beginning to mid game. Like there was no mistakes at all, but the whole using torn to U-turn versus Samurai, I think would have won him the game to bring in walking wake on the last turn of, uh, on the last turn of sun. And then using, like I said, using walking wake to kill Luna would have at least forced a 50, 50, right? After they bring in Valiant, they have to kind of predict what he does, switches or stays in. So, but it was still a close game. Um, like I said, Mascal is a really good player. He, he's someone that always managed to be me. I don't know how, but thank you guys for watching again. If you guys want to be part of the series, thank you, John, for joining too. If you guys want to be part of the series, all you gotta do is join the discord down below and then sign up in the team building with channel and I'll get you guys signed up. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace.